In this PlugSound Pro how-to, we'll show you how to use PlugSound Pro's audio and MIDI drag and drop feature. PlugSound Pro's unique drag and drop feature lets you drag and drop loops or phrases directly into a sequencer track with the drag and drop button. Loops and phrases can be dragged as audio clips or as MIDI notes that trigger a slice to loop. When the audio data icon which looks like an audio waveform is showing, this means you're working with an audio clip. As a general rule, you can drag and drop audio clips anywhere in your host sequencer that accepts audio via drag and drop. Now, when the MIDI data icon, represented by an eighth note, is visible, this means you're dragging a sliced loop in the form of MIDI data. Therefore, you'll need to drag the MIDI data to a destination that accepts MIDI, such as a MIDI track. This works on major host applications such as Digital Performer, Logic, Cubase, Pro Tools, Live, and Sonar. Your host application may even provide other possible MIDI destinations. Digital Performer on the Mac, for example, will let you drag a MIDI loop directly into a clipping window. To drag and drop an audio loop directly into a sequencer track, Start by loading the desired loop or phrase into PlugSound Pro. Then, click the drag and drop button and drag the audio clip into a sequencer track. Now to drag a loop as MIDI, load the desired loop and click the map button. Be sure slice mode is enabled as well as the map button. Once the map button is engaged, the loop will be split into rhythmically even slices and mapped chromatically to MIDI notes starting at middle C or C3. Once mapped, you can play each slice with your MIDI controller, or you can drag the sliced loop directly into a MIDI track for further manipulation. Now once the slices have been successfully dragged into a MIDI track, you'll be able to edit it for further customization. For example, we can remove slices we don't want, like this, or we can rearrange the loop by dragging its slices to different positions in the track. You could even groove quantize the MIDI slices to alter its rhythmic feel. And since each slice is mapped to a MIDI note starting at middle C, you can even program a new beat in real time just by playing and recording the slices in a different order. Now, if you want the loop or phrase to conform to your host sequencer's current tempo when dragged, simply enable the Sync to Host feature. If Sync to Host is turned off, loops will retain their original tempos. Be sure to turn on your sequencer's edit grid or similar snap to beats feature if you want the dragged audio or MIDI data to line up with the beats in your sequence. In this PlugSound Pro How To, we explained how drag and drop works, how to use the map feature to split a loop into rhythmically even slices that can be triggered with individual MIDI notes, and how to use the Sync to Host feature to conform loops to a host application's current sequence tempo. As you can see, the drag and drop feature in PlugSound Pro is easy to use and a valuable tool for the creative process of editing and developing your loops and musical phrases.